Well, good morning. This is a wonderful opportunity to talk with you a little bit about Salem's wonderful church um, that offers all kinds of opportunities for everyone, in, regardless of your talents, to, to join in community and to express the things that you enjoy as well as participate in many activities that we have uh, here at Salem. Uh, this church, for me, has been about a 25 or 30 year experience, um, and most of the time that I was a member here, I was working full time and had children to raise, so I wasn't super active, um, but after I retired, um, I became suddenly very active because the pastor asked me to come to be the art department, the arts, not department, but arts committee chairperson. Um, and so I decided to do that. And uh, first and foremost, it was a, an honor to be um, asked to do this. But um, I was drawing on many activities that I had done before. So um, one of the first projects that I was asked to do was to find the colors to change the color of the nave. And we're sitting in the nave right now in the new colors. And um, I have to say it was a process. I learned a lot from it. Um, so um, things like that started us off. And then there was a suggestion that we make an art gallery. Well, um, I could certainly be on board with that because after having been an art teacher for 20 years and also having loved the arts my whole life, I thought, well, let's do that. And so we did that, and we, we started an art gallery, and that was about eight years ago um, in the planning stages. And then um, on and on, and we've been doing shows, uh, four shows a year for almost eight years now. So um, we have um, outreach to the community. We have a mission statement that says that we are supporters of the arts in any way that we can here at church and also in the community. So um, that is one of the outreaches that we have is the Agape Gallery, which means the, the Love of God Gallery, basically. Um, anyway, that's one thing, but many other wonderful things have taken place here at Salem, and one of some of the big ones that I would like to mention are a um, complete renewal of the downstairs um, area which has um, where we gather for all kinds of community events and uh, that is the building over four years of a wonderful mosaic mural uh, that was directed by Tricia Morgan who's a member of our of our group and our congregation and uh, she gathered together all kinds of resources and all kinds of people to work on this over four years on Saturdays and it is fabulous so you should definitely come and see that. Um, and also we've had over time um, a um, request to work on restoring parts of our church and right behind me is the chancel where we have had um, some professionals work on restoring the uh, reredos it's called, it's behind the altar and it's a beautiful mosaic that was made in the 1920s so this church, because it was actually a church that started in, in 1904, I believe, um, that has all kinds of wonderful stained glass windows and mosaics and things that need to be restored. So Marge um, Zerby, who was on our committee, took care of, of finding the right people to do that, and we, as a result, have a wonderful restoration of, of the mosaics. Um, so um, also we have participated in, um, one of our members is also the chair of our, our archives committee. So she's very interested in historical work and uh, Judy does a fabulous job making sure we get things um, correctly, correctly annotated in um, the archives. And also um, she's working on restoration of a wonderful World War II memorial that we have in our church for all the people who um, both served and gave their lives. So um, we have this historical bent because it's an older church, but it's a newer church in the sense that we have many young people. We are very accepting of people of all types and colors and races, and it's... Uh, 
it's just a, a joyous church um, in the sense of uh, singing and laughing and children and all the people here who are so giving and loving. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention is that you might have seen us at some point um, in the 4th of July parade here in Catonsville because we've also built floats along with lots of help from the different parts of the community here and uh, had those over the, the last here and there starting in probably 2011 we built one um, for the first time and then we went on and built several others. So. Um, I can say that you're very welcome to come and, and, and experience the, the excellent music here and the amazing preaching here and um, the, also the arts here. Thank you.